this kid would say, but I'm backstage with that's your reality. That's the most amazing feeling ever. And uh, I think also like, you know, got the opportunity to, to dance every every episode. And also being in the trio with General and Val, you know, doing other numbers, various numbers, you know. So for me it was a it was more of like a learning curve for me. Mm -hmm. So I think God just said, you know, I'm gonna step stop your journey of competing right here so I can let you go and just experience it and learn. So for me, like every Sunday when I go to, to the ballroom, I've been sitting there and I'm like, okay, so next day if I become a pro again, what am I gonna do different to what they do? So for me, it was, it was learning. It was, I wasn't just gonna go, okay, I'm out now, so just dance, enjoy, you know? I'm enjoying it, learning, and asking the pros, like, so like, how you, you know, because obviously, I'm, the way I teach, I'm so different to what they teach. So like, they, they told me like, you know, this is, this is, you find your, the way you teach, your celebrity, get to know the person first. You know? So that's what I did. I got to know the person first, you know, found my way, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't meant for me at that time. It's, it's stressful. Mm -hmm. It's so stressful. I mean, we work hard in what we do now. We work hard, we, we appreciate it. We always on time, we always focus all the time. But competition is more like, it's like you're fighting with your company, like, you know, the person that you got, you like competing against is like, like, I don't know, it's not good for me, you know, I'm, that's not who I am. Yeah, it's more stressful, you go home, you're like, did I enjoy the competition? Even if you perform very good, but you're like, did I enjoy that? Not so much, you understand, you understand, you come here and you perform for this 6,800 people, mm -hmm. and you do one dance and you keep, oh my God, that's what I just did another rumba. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a moment when I was dancing and at the end, I stood up and I went to touch Emma and I could feel the energy from the audience. Oh my god, I just dropped a tear. This is happening. And for me I was like, that's what dancing is for. I mean I mean at the end of the day the producers will give you a schedule, like what they expect from you. It's up to you if you wanna improve or just stay there, mm -hmm. you know? And for me, <clears throat> I'm speaking to Eugene Bob with all the, the, the pros, we all strive to, to get even better, you know? Like every time, go to the studio, they'll, the producers were like, okay, you guys are in here from eight in the morning till two. We're like, and then at two o'clock, we're like, we're not, we're not finished, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, because we dance, we love it, we enjoy what we're doing every day, we keep on going all the time. We finish at like six. Do we, do we go back and go like, oh, you know, like we finish like and you come tomorrow like ten? No, we because we love it. We enjoy we enjoy being in that studio. We enjoy it. For me I said the other day to the producer, I said <clears throat> they said to you, Okay, you have a day off tomorrow when we're doing rehearsals. And I said, Can I just come? You know, just <laughs> even if people are dancing, can I just dance, do my other stuff in the corner? They're like, you know, you no, know, just put my headset with the music and you know, I just dance. And they're like, Why? You can have a day off and I'm like, I feel happy when I'm in the studio. And then the producers are like that's why we hide you. <laughs> you know, you have that thing. I literally come to the, I go inside the theatre mm -hmm. and just walk at the top and just feel the energy by myself. Mm -hmm. Just inside by myself and just look at the stage and I just stay there and I pray. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I pray for myself and I pray for my the, the dancers and I pray for the stage and I pray for everyone who's going to come in the theatre mm -hmm. just to have a wonderful night and enjoy mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> And that's for me that it keeps the, the show interesting every day, you know? and, and every day is, for me is about what I feel that day. If I wake up very sad or something back home happened and I'm very sad, I want to bring those, day, those feelings on stage because it's so real for me. You know, uh, bottom of it, like being, being in the show, mm -hmm. is the most amazing feeling ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think also like, you know, got the opportunity to, to dance every, every episode and also being in the trio with General Val, you know, doing other numbers, various numbers, you know. So for me, it was, a, it was more of like a learning curve for me. Mm -hmm. So I think God just said, you know, I, I'm going to step uh, stop your journey of competing right here so I can let you go and just experience it and learn. So for me, like every Sunday when I go to, to the ballroom, I've been sitting there and I'm like, 
okay, so next thing if I become a pro again, what I'm gonna do different to what they do? So for me, it was, it was learning. It wasn't, I wasn't just gonna go, okay, I'm out now, so just dance, enjoy, you know? I'm enjoying it, learning, and asking the pros, like, so, like, how you, you know, because obviously, I'm, the way I teach, I'm so different to what they teach. So, like, they, they told me, like, you know, there's a, there's a, you find your, the way you teach your celebrity, get to know the person first and so that's what I did. I got to know the person first, you know, found my way but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't meant for me at that time. It's, it's stressful. It's so stressful. I mean, we work hard in what we do now. We work hard, we, we appreciate it, we're always on time, we're always focused all the time. The competition is more like, it's like you're fighting with your company, like, you know, the person that you got, you like competing against is like, that. Like, I don't like that. It's not good for me, you know. I'm, that's not who I am. And yeah, it's more stressful. You go home, you like, did I enjoy the competition? Even if you perform very good, but you like, did I enjoy that? Not so much. You understand? You understand? You come here and you perform for this six thousand eight hundred people, mm -hmm. and you do one dance and you keep. Oh my god! Dance like I just did another rumba. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a moment when I was dancing, and at the end, I stood up and I went to touch Emma. And I could feel the energy from the audience. Oh my god, I just dropped a tear. Like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this is happening. And for me, I was like, that's what dancing's for. You know, it's not about this. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, the producers will give you a schedule, mm -hmm. like what they expect from you. It's up to you if you wanna improve or just stay there. Mm -hmm. You know. And for me, <clears throat> I'm speaking in Chilean behalf of all the, the, the pros. We all strive to to get even better. You know, like every time. Which is studio, they'll, the producers were like, okay, you guys are in here from 8 in the morning till 2. We're like, and then at 2 o'clock, we're like, we're not, we're not finished, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, because we dance, we love it, we enjoy what we're doing every day, we keep on going all the time. We finish at like 6. Do we, do we go back and go like, oh, you know, like we finish late and you come tomorrow like 10? No, we, because we love it, we enjoy, we enjoy being in that studio. We enjoy it. For me, I said the other day to the producer, I said, <clears throat> They said to you, okay, you have a day off tomorrow when you're doing rehearsals. And I said, can I just come? You know, just <laughs> even if people are dancing, can I just dance, do my other stuff in the corner? They're like, you know, you know, just put my head aside with the music and you know, I just dance. And they're like, why? You can have a day off. And I'm like, I feel happy when I'm in the studio. And then the producers are like, that's why we hired you. <laughs> you know, you have that thing. I literally come to the, I go inside the theater mm -hmm. and just walk at the top and just feel the energy by myself, just inside by myself and just look at the stage and I just play then I pray. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I pray for myself and I pray for my the, the dancers and I pray for the stage and I pray for everyone who's gonna come in the theater mm -hmm. just to have a wonderful night and enjoy it. So <clears throat> and that's for me that it keeps the, the show interesting every day, you know? And and every day is, for me is about what I feel that day. If I wake up very sad or something back home happened and I'm very sad. I'm gonna bring those those feelings on stage because it's so real for me. You know? <clears throat> it's a lot. It's it's funny how how I've been working on Ben the Floor before and how we it was a family. It was a family, you know, there was family was theater family. We help each other, you know, but like you you get those ones like they they, they speak to themselves, you know? But this company man like one thing I, I remember saying to Val, or I don't remember Karina or something, I said, <clears throat> why, I haven't heard, since I've been here, I haven't heard anyone scream for, to each other, like the choreographers, the producers, the lighting people, the cameras, the music, no one. It's like, it's like, here, what do you, what do you need? Um, I need shoes. Okay, great. Okay, cool. we'll, we'll get your shoes. Is it okay, Kia? Great. You know, like everybody does their jobs, and for me that, it pushes me like it pushes me in a way like I'm not, even I don't, I'm not, I don't get lazy it, it makes me go like I'm on point all the time like because if people other people are doing their job around you you have to do it so because if they do the job and you become lazy it's a bit like feel free like you know but it's, it's amazing and the, the pros have helped me so much like I spoke to Derek I spoke to Mark <clears throat> even on tour like my one of my goals is for being on the tour is to get to know everyone, mm -hmm. you know, because um, when I came on the show, I didn't know anyone and <clears throat> I didn't get to know them properly because everyone was busy competing on the show and doing every, every, uh, every day doing the show, dancing and stuff. And I feel like now we're on the bus together, we all wake up together in the morning. So you can explain, it. you know, I need to get to know Van. I want to know you, you know. <clears throat> and one thing about me is I know my soul 
is God gave me this gift that if I don't get, if I don't connect very well with someone, mm -hmm. I'll let them go. It's, it's one of those things that like, it just happened naturally. Like, I'll be like, after the, after the tour, I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll mm -hmm. go this way. It's just, it just, I don't go, dude, it's not me. No, no, I don't do that. It's just like, I stop the condition. It just happens naturally, so. Uh, but so far, like, I'm getting to know everyone, and I'm like, it's funny how when I came here, I didn't judge anyone on the show, and I looked at everyone, I was like, everyone has a different <clears throat> attitude, everyone is cool, they have to do what they have to do to be the best, so go for it, you know? And now I know them personally, and I talk to them, they're human beings. It's, what you see on TV, that's television, these people are real, they do the thing that I do, like, you know, like, it's funny when I saw them back home on TV, and I'm like, wow. Really? Just do it, really? Like, like really? But when I'm, when I'm here sitting down, I'm like, wow, okay. You know, like, and I'm myself. I'm, I'm happy. I'm a happy person. So I'm always happy. And it's funny how all the, like, I, you can see when someone is sad, Kia, where are you? I'm like, I'm here, babe. They sit down <laughs> in my lap. I hug, give them the love, they go away. You know, I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> in a way, which is good. So, yeah. I don't think I don't think the way I came to the show was a problem. Like <clears throat> even both of the producers, that they were very happy with me. They mm -hmm. said we like you. The way you work with her is amazing. The way you work with her, and <clears throat> they didn't even ask me like how would you. I remember talking to the producer, and I said he said to me like when we when you come back, what would you do? And I was like so <laughs> I'm like. It, it's, it's, not a, it's not a question that you can ask me this moment because I wasn't given the chance further, you know? It was like, <clears throat> I danced when I left. So I wasn't given the chance. It's like, we like your idea. I did, because I, when I came to the show, I gave him like five ideas for the five weeks. Like, so many songs, so they can choose from. <clears throat> I was so prepared for the show, like, I was so prepared. And they're like, yeah, you know, and I said to them, like, if I come back on the show, I'm gonna come back as the kill that you met the first day when I came here, same guy you met, and obviously I'm gonna approach my partner in a different way, you know? Obviously it, it depends on who I get. 